one day, the neighbor knocks on the door. And I'm like, yes? And he's like, you know what? I feel bad. I have to tell you, you're my friend. I've had sex with your wife. And I'm like, what? 16 years ago, Robert met Aisha at a local laundromat. They hit it off during the rinse cycle and married a year later. But now, after 15 years of wedlock, this marriage is all washed up. She went out and found more guys on the internet and had sex with them. But he's a cheapskate. He'll have me go to hotels and restaurants and steal toilet paper. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Robert Hainer and Alicia Hainer. Mr. and Mrs. Hainer, you have been married for 15 years, but you do not want to be married anymore. Mr. Hainer, you are looking at Mrs. Hainer to uh, reimburse you for some gambling debts, and we will talk about that momentarily. However, uh, before we do that, Mr. Hainer, I'm going to ask you to tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here in divorce court today. Your Honor, I'm a Mormon evangelist, a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Uh -huh. And unbeknownst to me, I married a porn star. <laughs> My wife has had sex with over 150 men during our marriage. During she, the marriage? Yes. In fact, she has given me sexually transmitted diseases. Oh. I've had to go to the doctor, get medication to overcome these diseases. It disgusts me. <laughs> Mrs. Hayne? Have you had sex with over 150 men since you've been married to your husband? Yes. He sexually unsatisfies me. He's a minute man. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. First of all, I never make a man respond to that kind of thing unless he wants to, because it's just not, you know, it's not something I make a man do. But I'm going to ask you something, Mrs. Hainer. Married or not married? Isn't 150 guys just a little nasty? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I just try and find the one that gives me the most pleasure. And you've had to go through 150 of them? Probably not that many. I think he's well, exaggerating. What is it you're looking for? Is it the quantity? Is it you just haven't found anybody to give you the quality of sex that you like? Or do you just like variety? <laughs> he sucks in bed. He doesn't give me any pleasure. He doesn't give me any foreplay. You know what? I'm going to tell you, Judge. The first two years of our marriage was fabulous. I loved her. She loved me. We went to church. We had this great idea that we were going to have a couple of kids, get a house, grow old together. Mm -hmm. Then one day, the neighbor knocks on the door. And I'm like, yes? And he's like, you know what, I feel bad, I have to tell you, you're my friend, I've had sex with your wife. And I'm like, what? He says, look, I'm your friend. I'm like, dude, you are not my friend. So then, I confront her about it. She admits to having sex with the neighbor. I'm like, what are we gonna do here? And she says, you know what, maybe we should move. Maybe we need a fresh start. So, in 2004, we moved from Las Vegas to LA. The first six months was fabulous. Marriage was good, everything was going good. Then, she starts getting on social networks. She meets all kinds of crazy guys, goes out with them, has sex with them. In fact, she likes to go to what she calls swinger parties. When she goes to swinger parties, she has sex with men and other multiple partners. And of course, that's where she gave me all these diseases. Let me ask you a question. When you first married Mr. Hainer, did you find him sexually attractive? Was he alluring? No. Did he, did, he, <laughs> did he pull a bait and switch on you? He was one guy right before you married him, and he was somebody else he once you did? He was the rebound guy. He what? He was the rebound guy. Oh, so who were you? You, you had a boyfriend? Yes. Relationship ended? Yes. He's the first cat that had been by. And he had everything, and I had nothing, and he was nice. When you said he had, when you say he had everything, what do you mean? What did he have? He had a car and a microwave. 
<laughs> and food <laughs> and a job. <laughs> and I was sleeping on the floor and had no phone and no microwave and barely any power. And it was appealing and he gave me attention. So you're telling me it was all about the money. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Well, yes, you did. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you did. Um, did you ever give the marriage a chance? Yes, we used to. I used to give him like do's and don'ts during sex. You know, try and make me excited and feel good. Now, so was this a lecture series or was it? You know. <laughs> Were you doing it in practical application, the do's and don'ts? Yes, yes. When we went to like no, which swinger one? parties. I, I offered you a choice. I Lecture never went series. to one single swinger party no, with you. We went, to, we went to strip clubs together to try and get excited, find another girl. Find and another girl? Yeah. Not true. Not true. Yeah. And bring did her you home. Want, did you want to find another girl? Yeah. So you like women too? Yeah. Mm. When Divorce Court continues, has Robert been fighting a she said to me, no man has ever satisfied her. No man. That's not true. The last one did. No, that's not what you said. <laughs> the last one did. Divorce isn't easy. If you want to share your story, you could be a guest. Call toll free at 1-877-311-2222. Or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Or become a fan at facebook.com. Alicia was having an affair with their former neighbor. But what else does Robert learn about his unfaithful wife? In October of 2012, uh -huh. she disappeared with the rent money. How did you live with this for 14 years? Well, the truth is, I didn't know. Over. I did not know until recently that this had been going on. That's baloney. So the, fir the, the first... The first idea that you had that she ever cheated on you was when the neighbor knocked on the door. That's correct. And in then fact, you decided to move. Yes. Uh, may I add that... We lived there for hang like on, eight hang years. On. So we moved here, and she felt bad about having sex with the neighbor. She told me, I feel bad. So we went to our church. We talked to our church leader, and the church leader said the best way to fix this is to excommunicate her from the church. So she was excommunicated from our Mormon church, and he asked her to repent, and she said she would repent. Not only did she not repent, she went out and found more guys on the internet and had sex with them. Well, you never really intended to be a Mormon ever, did you? Anyway, right? I wasn't raised in the Mormon church. They are way too, like, rule-oriented. Uh-huh. Did you know he was a Mormon when you met him? Yes. What about that told you, you know, sex, drugs, and rock and roll? <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. I thought that I could reform and be a good girl. If I may say, she said to me, no man has ever satisfied her. No man. That's not true. The last one did. No, that's not what you said. <laughs> the last one did. Unbelievable. I said I've never been faithful to a guy in my life. Well, you told me. Now, did you tell him that before you yes. married him? Yes. And what was his response? He's like, well. He boasts himself up. He'll say, like, he's the only one that'll ever love me this way. I'm stuck with him. And, you know, I have to tell my friends what he half-assed does around the house to make him look good. But if he really did that stuff around the house, I wouldn't have to boast him up. I'd be just like, oh, my God, this guy is awesome. He does the laundry. He takes out the garbage. He puts down the toilet seat. I do no, all that. No. Let's move on to another topic. Mr. Hainer? Yes. You say she has a gambling problem. She does. Tell me about in that. In fact, in October of 2012, uh -huh. she disappeared with the rent money. She's gone. She calls me about two weeks later. She says, I gambled the money. I'm broke. Please come and get me. What now, the Judge, heck are you talking about? I love her. So I drive to Vegas. I pick her up, and I bring her home. Oh, that's when I left you. And she says, I'm so sorry. I love you. No. I left you, and you said you couldn't live without me, so you came and got me. That's not the way it happened. Yes, it is. And well, no, 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 let me ask you this. <laughs> if you leave somebody and they come to get you, you know you don't have to get in the car. No, I don't have <laughs> to get you in the car. You realize that, don't you? But so you must have went with him at some point. He said he would change, and he didn't change. He got a job that worked him six hours a week, 
but he didn't change. And he would sit down with me at the machine and feed the machine like $3,000. No. We so have no people money. who don't work, you got an awful lot of money. Where is yeah. this all coming from? I don't know. We had no money, supposedly. No money in the bank. Don't touch the bank. He can only touch the bank. Our joint bank account. And then he spends money for renting the mm -hmm. car. No. Money Miss for the hotel. Yeah, feeding the machine. Betting on sports bets. I just because he had a dream one night that he won big. Okay. So Miss we had to go to Vegas. Mr. Hayner, yes. are you... Betting large sums of money based on hunches and dreams? No. Yes. Now, I have, in the past, legally driven to Las Vegas and made legal bets right. on football. Uh-huh. Nobody said they were illegal. And bets. there was one particular year where I won about $8,000 on football. Okay. Well, there's one year I won 1400 Ms. Hayner, please. That's a man. Now, thing. I used that money to do various things. I bought a new car for us at the time. Uh, I would take her out to dinner. Now, here's the thing, Judge. We do have a joint account, and yeah. I would put money in the account, uh -huh. and as soon as I would put money in, she would take it out. When divorce court continues, Robert breaks down Alicia's busy schedule. She goes to her swinging party. She has sex with several partners. She comes home. She takes a shower, changes her clothes, eats the food, out of the house to her next sexual conquest. parties we'll go to a hotel room and then I'll come home with all the toilet paper and tissue and whatever else I can find so he doesn't have to purchase anything you extra. You mean to tell me <laughs> you go to a motel for a swinging party and come out with arms full of toilet paper? Yes. This is what you do? Yes. You know what? I manage the money. I pay the bills. I take care of the house. She doesn't care about the house. Judge, this is what she does, okay? She goes to her swinging party. She has sex with several partners. She comes home. She takes a shower, changes her clothes, eats the food out of the house to her next sexual conquest. Oh. Well, that's what she's doing. The question is, how do you people manage to do all of this and not have a job? Well, listen. Remember, she's been in 30 porno movies. That she's got plenty of money. She hides money. How one day, she, one day. Have you been in porno movies? Yes. Thank you. And about 30? No, over 64. Over, over Goldie Smokes! Oh, you have to 64 have movies? You said it was 30. Mrs. Haney, Next week it'll be 90. Hang on, do you Hopefully. get residuals? No. No residuals? No. I didn't know. Someone I, was supposed I to didn't call know. me. <laughs> hey, there could be a porno union. I, you know. <laughs> I mean, it would be nice to get residuals and be able to sustain myself instead of trying to get money from him because when I ask him for our joint money from our joint account, he says yes, he'll give me money, and then he'll want 40 back. But did you know about the porn before you married her? No, Is no. it something you found out I afterwards? just found out recently that she was doing porn. You guys don't have any kids, do you? We have yes. one child. Okay. I'm worried, but all right. <laughs> he doesn't live at home. Okay. I mean, can I, can I ask you this? How would you expect your husband to feel about what you do? I mean, I would do you understand him. what marriage is? And, and, and it's a contract, that it's a decision that people make that say, this is what I'm going to do, this is what you're going to do, and 
and you make those promises and you just can't do whatever you want after that? Right. But when it was time to watch the kid, he would drop the kid off the babysitter and go gamble. He was either gambling or sleeping. Not true. Not true. When divorce court continues, Judge Lynn asks the burning question. Why would you stay with a woman for 14 years if she was doing the kind of nonsense that Mrs. Hainer is doing? Do you think Alicia needs to find a new hobby that doesn't include sex? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Robert Hayner, who after discovering his wife Alicia has been in more than 60 adult films and has had multiple affairs, wants out of this marriage. You know what, I'm true to you, I've never cheated on you, I take care of you, I pay the bills. I'm like Mr. The Hayner, yeah. I gotta ask you a question, I've been looking crazy over there at okay. Mrs. Hayner for, for, for a good 20 minutes now, yeah. but I'll, I'm gonna come over here and look crazy at you. Cause okay. Why would you stay with a woman for 14 years if she was doing the kind of nonsense that Mrs. Hainer is doing? Because the Bible says, neither is the man without the woman, neither the woman without the man in the Lord. I love her, and I believe marriage is forever, but quite frankly, the last 14 years has destroyed my belief in marriage. I would think. Me too. I mean, it just, there, there's, not, there's no marriage here. I don't know what's going she on. She does here. whatever the heck she wants. I can see. And he just doesn't do anything. Let do me anything. ask you this. Why haven't you cut him loose sooner? I believe in standing by your man. I couldn't really leave him for being boring. She believes in standing by her man. Come on. I support you. I am a but good guy. But I'm tired of it now, so <laughs> I'm going. You people scare me so much, I don't even know what to say. Mr. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Uh, it's, uh, I pride myself on being able to put myself in other people's positions <laughs> and understand what's going on in their head, seeing things from other people's perspective, and it's like, you people are on another planet. I hope you never <laughs> visit it. I don't want to know anything about it. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm got, you, you just scare me and I want to go home. <laughs> um, that makes two of us. Great. You, Mr. Hainer, has brought Mrs. Hainer here seeking $4,000 for gambling debts. Tell me specifically where you got this figure from and why you believe she ought to pay that particular sum okay. to you. Over the years, when she wanted to gamble, I would give her money out of my personal account. And I said, listen, this is my money. If you gamble, you got to pay me back. And she said, I will pay you back. Now, this is what I did. I wrote down the amount and it went to over $4,000. So I said to her, look, if you want to- Did you add what you wrote down? Uh, it's at home, yes. What the heck did <laughs> no. you leave it at home for if you come in here to ask me for money? Right. That doesn't make any sense. I yeah, where's you. the receipt? I didn't get receipts, I should've got receipts. Mrs. Where's Hainer, now, 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 now reach deep in your heart, tell the truth, did he lend you money for the purpose of gambling? Out of our joint account, he gave me some money, but he told me what machine that I had to play. I couldn't play any machines that no. I wanted to play, and I had to sit there as long as he wanted me to sit there and feed the machine. He forced you into slot machining oh. for a particular period of time. Yes. That's what you're telling That's me. That's not true. Oh, my yes. goodness. So I forced so you him to were, go to Vegas. You were in yes. slot machine servitude. Yes. He gave you money and made you just put that nickel in and it... A hundred dollars at a time, A hundred dollars at a time yeah. until you were all out of money. Until I was tired of the machines, I wanted to go back to the hotel room. That and if sure I won, true. he would make me, give, make me give him half and still owe him money. Not true. Yes, true. Let me I tell you something. Let me you tell lie. you people something. Yeah, hey, go hey, ahead. hey, hey, hey. I never, ever award pain and suffering in here because I think pain and suffering is a part of life. But I tell you what. I think you two owe me a million dollars apiece. <laughs> there will be no recovery in this matter. It is so. Awesome. All right. Party's made in the